Hi, I'm Jenny Raymond and I'm bringing to you the Easy Rulers and I'm going to show you how to cut an angled cut. We've seen before on a previous video how you actually use the rulers, but all of these Easy Quilting rulers come with an angled line on them. There's a 45 degree line one end and a 60 degree line the other end. These lines are extremely useful for cutting angles and you will find they appear on all of the rulers, the lefty righty one and the smaller one that is the 13 inches by 6.5 inches and indeed on the other junior little ruler. So all of the rulers have these angles. How you use them. If you are right handed, take your strip of fabric, lay it out in front of you. I'm going to cut a 45 degree cut. This will be a bias cut, a diagonal cut. If you place the 45 degree line on the ruler down the edge of the fabric, slide it down a little bit, take your rotary cutter and you could be using the 45 uh, millimeter one or you could be using the 60 millimeter one or you could be using the 28 millimeter one. Any of these cutters would be absolutely ideal. Take the guard off the cutter, keeping your hand firmly on the ruler. Now if you found that your hand was likely to slip at all, you could always use the very nice ruler tool for steadying the ruler. So hand goes on the tool, up the edge of the ruler, cut. That gives you a 45 degree angle cut. If I now wish to cut, say, strips for my binding, and some bindings need fabric cut on a bias, fold it over because I don't have to wobble along such a long edge, bring your ruler in, and you'll be cutting perhaps an inch and a half, maybe cutting two inches, maybe cutting two and a half inches. Simply line the desired line on the ruler up with the edge of the fabric and cut. And that will give you your lovely diagonal bias cut strips. But that's not all this ruler will do. It will cut at 45 and it will also cut at 60. So how do we cut at 60? For cutting at 60, again, take the fabric, open it out. It's by far and away the easiest way to do it. If you cut it with the fabric folded in half, you'll end up with a strange V shape. Look at the 60 degree line on the ruler. Place the 60 degree line on the ruler down the diagonal. And you can see how the angle of cut has changed quite dramatically. Take your ruler, cutter, slide up the edge, and that is a 60 degree cut. This again, if you fold the fabric in half, you can very easily cut off a strip. Perhaps you're wanting to cut diamonds, so let me show how you can cut diamonds from this strip. So if you turn the ruler around, I'm going to cut a three inch strip. So there's my three inch strip. Cut up the edge there. And then if I want to cut my diamonds off, I can simply open the strip out, move three inches in from the end there, and cut and cut. So whatever the width of the strip is, I can cut the same width going in the other direction and that will give me accurate 60 degree diamonds. So the ruler itself can be used for cutting 45 degrees, perhaps you want to cut triangles or perhaps you want to cut your bias and it can also be used for cutting 60 degrees which is ideal for cutting things like diamonds shapes that we have here. So these rulers have a lot of potential and they are really one of the most important things that you are going to require. The other advantage that the longer rulers have is they have on them your eighths measurements. You are going to need your five eighths, your three eighths and your seven eighths because there are times when you're going to have to cut say a two and three eighths, a two and five eighths or a two and seven eighths strip and this ruler has the potential to allow you to do that by simply aligning the fabric with that edge of the little with the relevant line, you will be able to cut an accurate strip. So easy quilting rulers can be used for cutting angles as well. For more information and things to do with the rulers, of course, the Easy Peasy DVD will take you through easy ways of using your ruler and some very simple blocks. And of course, a great block that you could cut with regular strips is, of course, good old log cabin.